today while I'm sitting speaking with you in the lobby of the Hyatt Place in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, my wife and I evacuated our home in Sanibel Tuesday morning. Unfortunately, you've seen the news. It's going to be a while. So how long were you without any information? Basically from about Wednesday uh, late afternoon uh, until uh, like about 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I saw that uh, NOAA had had uh, posted high-definition imagery from uh, four hours of circuits. They were flying in our King Air 350 over Sanibel, Cape Coral, Fort Myers Beach, Bradenton, all the areas that were most negatively impacted mm -hmm. by the effects of Ian. So, uh, you know, it, it's pretty high-def stuff. And so I was able to uh, kind of scale up the photo and, I was able to tell that the roof was intact. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it, I mean, it wasn't like half the roof was tore off, and I'm, I'm looking at my living room furniture uh, on, on, on the NOAA website. Just talk a little bit about the history of NOAA and the King Air and Textron Aviation. NOAA's operated King Airs for, for many, many years. Uh, they use them for a variety of, uh, of, of missions. Uh, but one of the things they do is when you have catastrophic events like this, big hurricanes, blizzards. Uh, they flew the King Air over the Joplin, Missouri tornado. Uh, and it became so valuable because if, if you were somebody that was displaced from your home, you had no idea what was going on. And at least at least now you, you kind of had an idea of what you were or were not going back to and you could prepare yourself for that. But they've had a long history of doing this and, and uh, they had, they've had a couple King Airs and they just, mo they, most recently, we delivered another one to them uh, in uh, December of 2020. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a critical mission for not only the public. Mm -hmm. NOAA is making this information available to FEMA. Mm -hmm. So FEMA knows where to put resources and, you know, how much damage is in areas and move people around. So it's just critically important. Well, Doug, we so appreciate you sharing your story with us. And we're all here to help and support you through this. Well, thank you. I appreciate that.